Unlock the secrets to creating the ultimate pickleball paradise. Discover the key factors you must consider when building your very own pickleball court. From location selection to surface materials, we've got you covered. Get ready to serve up endless fun and create a court that will have everyone rallying to play. Pickleball is a rapidly growing sport that combines elements of tennis, badminton, and table tennis, played on a rectangular court with a net in the middle. If you're an avid pickleball enthusiast and have the space, building your own pickleball court can be a fantastic investment in your fitness, recreation, and social life. However, before you start digging and ordering materials, there are several important factors to consider to ensure your pickleball court is not only functional, but also meets your specific needs and local regulations. In this guide, we'll walk you through the essential considerations for building your own pickleball court. From court dimensions to surface materials and cost estimates, we've got you covered. Let's get started. Location Selection Choosing the right location for your pickleball court is a critical step in the construction process. The location will significantly impact the functionality, safety, and overall enjoyment of the court. Here are several factors to consider when selecting the optimal location. Available space. Measure the available space on your property or the chosen location. Ensure it meets the minimum dimensions required for a standard pickleball court, which is 20 feet wide and 44 feet long. To prevent players from accidentally colliding with obstructions, structures, or boundaries, it's recommended to have a minimum clearance of 5 feet on each side of the court. This means that you should have an additional 5 feet beyond each sideline. This space allows players to move freely and retrieve errant balls without risking injury. The best practice is to plan a space that is 30 feet by 60 feet total. Orientation Consider the orientation of the court in relation to the sun's path. Ideally, the court should be oriented north-south to minimize issues with sun glare, which can affect gameplay. Observing the sun's position at different times of the day can help you determine the best orientation. Proximity to amenities Think about the proximity of the court to amenities like restrooms, seating areas, and storage for equipment. Having these facilities nearby enhances the overall experience for players and spectators. Access and parking Ensure easy access to the court from your home or other relevant buildings. Additionally, consider parking options for yourself and your guests. Adequate parking spaces can prevent congestion and inconvenience. Zoning and regulations. Check local zoning regulations, building codes, and any homeowner association rules that might apply to sports court construction. You may need to obtain permits or follow specific guidelines, so it's essential to be in compliance with local regulations. Terrain and slope. Evaluate the terrain and slope of the selected area. Ideally, the court should be on level ground to avoid issues with drainage and uneven surfaces. If there is a slope, you may need to consider grading or retaining walls to create a level playing field. Vegetation and trees. Take into account existing vegetation, trees, and landscaping in the area. Trees can provide shade but may also pose challenges such as falling leaves or roots that could disrupt the court surface. Decide whether you want to preserve or remove any vegetation. Privacy and noise. Consider privacy concerns and the potential impact of court noise on neighbors. Discuss your plans with neighbors and be open to addressing their concerns. Planting trees or installing noise barriers can help mitigate noise issues. Future expansion. Think about whether you might want to expand or add additional courts in the future. Planning for potential expansion can save you time and resources down the road. Local climate. Be mindful of your local climate when selecting the location. Extreme weather conditions like strong winds or heavy rainfall can affect gameplay and court maintenance. Properly designed windbreaks or drainage systems may be necessary. Once you've thoroughly assessed these factors, you'll be better equipped to choose the most suitable location for your pickleball court. Keep in mind that a well-considered location can enhance the overall playing experience and ensure the long-term functionality and value of your court. Court Dimensions and Markings the dimensions and markings of your pickleball court are critical aspects of construction as they directly impact the game's integrity and player experience. Understanding the standard court dimensions and markings is essential, but there are also considerations for customization and adaptability. Here's what you need to know. Standard Court Dimension A standard pickleball court is 20 feet wide and 44 feet long. These dimensions include the inbounds area. The net is positioned at the center, dividing the court into two equal halves, each measuring 20 feet by 22 feet. Non-Volley Zone Kitchen The non-Volley Zone, often referred to as the kitchen, is a crucial area on the court. It extends 7 feet from the net on both sides and is marked by a boundary line parallel to the net. Players cannot volley the ball while standing inside the kitchen unless the ball has bounced in it. Baseline and Sideline Markings The court's baseline is located at the back and the sidelines run along the sides. 
These lines are part of the court's boundaries and help determine whether balls are in or out. Service Boxes The service boxes are positioned behind the baseline near the center of the court. They are 10 feet wide and 15 feet deep with the center line dividing them. Center line and sideline extensions the center line extends from the non-volley zone to the baseline and divides the service boxes into left and right sides. Sideline extensions mark the boundary of the service area. Surface colors and paint. Select appropriate colors for your court surface and paint. Common choices are blue or green for the court surface with contrasting colors for the lines and markings to ensure visibility. High quality court paint is recommended to maintain the court's appearance and durability. Net height. The net should be positioned at a height of 34 inches at the center and 36 inches at the sidelines. Ensure that your net is properly installed in tension to meet these specifications. Line quality and durability. Invest in high quality court line materials and ensure they are properly applied. Durable lines will withstand regular gameplay and weather conditions, reducing the need for frequent repainting. Surface options. Selecting the right surface for your pickleball court is a crucial decision that will influence gameplay, maintenance requirements, and long-term enjoyment. The choice of surface material should align with your budget, preferences, and local climate. Here are various surface options to consider. Concrete. Concrete courts are known for their durability and minimal maintenance requirements. They offer a hard and consistent playing surface. Concrete provides excellent ball bounce and is resistant to wear and tear. It is less prone to cracking than asphalt. Like asphalt, concrete can become hot in direct sunlight. You may need to install a textured finish or coatings to improve traction. The initial cost of concrete construction can be higher than asphalt. Cushion surfaces. Cushion surfaces such as interlocking tiles or acrylic coatings over asphalt or concrete offer shock absorption and player comfort. Cushion surfaces are gentler on players' joints, making them ideal for players of all ages. They also reduce the impact on the ball, resulting in slower play. Cushion surfaces can be more expensive to install and maintain. They may require occasional recoating to maintain their performance. Sport Court Tiles Sport Court Tiles are modular interlocking tiles designed for various sports including pickleball. These tiles offer excellent traction and shock absorption. They are durable, customizable, and easy to maintain. Sport Court Tiles can be more expensive up front, but their long-term durability and versatility make them a popular choice among serious pickleball players. Acrylic Paint Coatings Acrylic paint coatings can be applied over asphalt or concrete surfaces to create a consistent and smooth playing surface. Acrylic coatings offer good ball bounce and traction. They come in various colors and can be customized with pickleball court lines. These coatings may require periodic resurfacing and maintenance. Proper preparation and application are essential for a lasting finish. Fencing and Net Systems Fencing and net systems are critical components of a pickleball court, providing boundaries, safety, and the infrastructure needed for gameplay. Understanding the options available for fencing and net systems is essential to create a functional and enjoyable court. Here's a detailed look at these elements. Fencing Fencing serves multiple purposes on a pickleball court, including Boundary Definition Fencing marks the court's boundaries, ensuring that balls that go out of bounds are easily identifiable. Safety Fencing prevents players from accidentally stepping out of the court during play, reducing the risk of injury. Ball containment. It keeps the ball within the court, preventing disruptions from stray balls from other nearby activities. Types of fencing. Chain link fencing. Chain link fencing is a common choice due to its durability and cost effectiveness. It provides excellent visibility and can withstand the elements. Wooden fencing. Wooden fencing offers a more aesthetically pleasing option. It can be stained or painted to match your court surroundings. Vinyl fencing. Vinyl fencing is low maintenance and resistant to rot, making it a durable choice. Mesh or fabric fencing. Mesh or fabric fencing is often used for temporary or portable courts. It's lightweight and easy to install. Height. The standard height for fencing around a pickleball court is usually 10 feet. This height provides ample ball containment and prevents players from reaching over the fence during play. However, you may need to adjust the height based on local regulations or specific court needs. Gate access. Consider adding a gate or entrance point to the court fencing for easy access. A gate with a latch can help control entry and exit, especially if you want to restrict access when the court is not in use. Wind breaks. Depending on your location, strong winds might affect gameplay. Installing wind breaks, such as windscreen panels, can help reduce wind interference and improve the playing experience. Net systems. Net material. Quality nets are typically made of nylon or polyethylene. Look for a net with sturdy posts and a tensioning system to maintain the correct net height. Net Posts Net posts are crucial for setting up the net, 
They should be sturdy and made of durable materials like aluminum or steel. Portable net systems are available for those who may want to move the net easily or set up temporary cords. Check out the link in our description for our best-selling portable net system. Center Strap A center strap running under the net helps maintain proper tension and prevent sagging. Make sure your net system includes a reliable center strap. Net Tapes Net tapes, which run along the top of the net, help maintain consistent net height. They should be securely fastened to the net and free from any damage. Net Storage Consider how you'll store the net when it's not in use. Some net systems come with built-in storage solutions, while others may require separate storage options. Lighting Proper lighting is a critical aspect of a pickleball court, as it enables safe and enjoyable gameplay during evening hours or in low-light conditions. Good lighting not only enhances visibility, but also ensures player safety and helps maintain the quality of play. Here's what you need to know about lighting for your pickleball court. Purpose of Lighting Extended Playing Hours Pickleball enthusiasts often enjoy playing in the evening, especially during the darker months of the year. Adequate lighting allows you to extend your playing time and make the court accessible after sunset. Safety Proper lighting is essential for player safety. It helps players see the ball clearly, anticipate shots, and move around the court without the risk of tripping or colliding with objects. Game Quality Good lighting ensures that the game's quality remains consistent, regardless of the time of day. Shadows, glare, or uneven illumination can negatively affect gameplay. Lighting Types LED Lights LED, light-emitting diode lights, are energy-efficient and provide consistent and bright illumination. They have a longer lifespan compared to traditional lighting sources like halogen or fluorescent bulbs. Floodlights Floodlights are commonly used for pickleball courts. They provide even and extensive illumination across the entire playing area. Pole-mounted lights Lights can be mounted on poles placed around the court perimeter or on nearby structures like buildings or fences. The number and placement of light poles depend on the court's size and lighting requirements. Solar-powered lights In remote areas or locations with limited access to electricity, solar-powered LED lights can be a sustainable option. Lighting levels Lighting levels are typically measured in foot candles, FC, or LUX. The recommended lighting level for outdoor pickleball courts is around 30 to 50 FC, with higher levels preferred for competitive play. Indoor courts may require even higher lighting levels. Ensure that the lighting system you choose meets these standards and provides uniform lighting across the entire court surface. Avoid hotspots or areas with excessive glare. Lighting Design Lighting design involves the placement and orientation of light fixtures to achieve optimal illumination. Factors to consider include the court's layout, location of obstacles, and the direction of the light beams. It's essential to distribute the lights evenly to minimize shadows and ensure consistent lighting from all angles. Lighting Regulations Check with your local authorities and zoning regulations to ensure compliance with lighting standards and any restrictions on the use of outdoor lighting. Light Maintenance Regularly inspect and maintain the lighting system to ensure it continues to function optimally. Clean fixtures, replace bulbs or LEDs as needed, and address any electrical issues promptly. Cost Considerations Lighting can be a significant investment. Factor in the initial cost of the lighting system, ongoing maintenance expenses, and energy consumption when planning your budget. Drainage and Maintenance Proper drainage and regular maintenance are essential for the longevity, safety, and functionality of your pickleball court. Neglecting these aspects can lead to costly repairs, decreased gameplay quality, and potential safety hazards. Here's a comprehensive look at drainage considerations and maintenance practices. Court Slope and Grading Ensure that your court has the appropriate slope and grading to facilitate water drainage. The court surface should slope slightly, typically 1-2%, to away from the center net post toward the sidelines. This slope allows rainwater to flow off the court and prevents puddling. Subsurface Drainage Installing subsurface drainage systems, such as French drains or perforated pipes, can help divert excess groundwater away from the court. These systems are especially useful in areas with high water tables or heavy rainfall. Surface Texture Choose a court surface material with the right texture to prevent water from pooling on the court. Some surfaces, like asphalt and concrete, are naturally water-resistant, while others may require additional treatments or coatings. Grass Surroundings If your court is adjacent to grassy areas, ensure that there's proper drainage in those areas as well. Poorly drained surrounding areas can contribute to water runoff onto the court. Maintenance Practices Regular Cleaning Sweep the court surface regularly to remove dirt, leaves, debris, and organic matter. A clean court not only looks better, but also prevents potential hazards and keeps the playing surface consistent. Crack Repairs 
Inspect the quartz surface for cracks and fissures regularly. Promptly repair any cracks to prevent them from expanding and causing more extensive damage. Resurfacing. Depending on the quartz surface material, you may need to schedule periodic resurfacing to maintain a smooth, level playing surface. Consult with professionals to determine the appropriate resurfacing frequency for your court. Net maintenance. Regularly inspect and maintain the net and net posts. Tension the net properly to ensure it meets the required height. Replace damaged or worn out components as needed. Line repainting. Over time, court lines may fade due to sun exposure and gameplay wear. Repaint the lines as necessary to maintain visibility and adherence to regulations. Windscreen maintenance. If you have wind breaks or screens around the court, ensure they're properly secured and free from damage. Lighting maintenance. If your court is equipped with lighting, regularly inspect and maintain the lighting system to ensure it functions correctly and provides consistent illumination. Seasonal checks. Conduct seasonal checks to assess the condition of the court. Address any issues that may have arisen due to weather or temperature fluctuations. Proactive measures. Engage in proactive maintenance rather than waiting for issues to become severe. Regular maintenance not only prolongs the life of your court, but also reduces long-term repair costs. Building a pickleball court requires careful planning, but the effort is well worth the rewards. Whether you're a casual player, a competitive enthusiast, or someone looking to create a space for social gatherings, a well-constructed and maintained pickleball court can become a centerpiece of recreation and enjoyment for you, your friends, and your community. Embrace the knowledge and insights shared in this guide to embark on your pickleball court project with confidence and success. With the right approach, you can create a court that fosters countless memorable moments and a lifelong love for the sport.